Oh, the boss is here. <laughs> we finally made this happen. How are you, Kevin? I'm um, blessed. Let's, let's came out to say what's up. Hang out with my girl real quick. Yeah, listen, Freestyle 50, it was so funny. I was just talking to Katrina, everyone in the room. I was like, mm. it's crazy the amount of energy and everyone's talking about it. And you didn't need to do this full on TV promotion in life. And you've, I mean, this is like a budget dream come true right now. It's just a matter of what? Uploading your video, hashtagging and really taking advantage of social media. Yeah, I, I think uh, one of the things you have about hip hop, you have urgency. And another thing is about entrepreneurship. So people don't realize we all freestyle on our way to success. You know, I went to school for electrical engineering. Who right. knew I would be the president and CEO? Did you really? Thing. Yeah, electrical engineering, yep. Have you ever used your degree? I use it every day of my life because I engineer my way through life. I engineer oh. my way through conversations. I, I engineer my way through relationships. So I love it. I feel I use it every, every, every day of my life. And it re really, being an engineer, you look at things differently. You know, you don't just try to get to the answer, you know what I mean? You actually talk, you live the journey and you learn along the way and you look at different theories on why you, how and how, why you got there. So it's just a different mentality that I had and it helped me be the person I am today. Now, of course, using social media is so important for Freestyle 50, but how is it different other than social media mm -hmm. than when you were finding talent and you know helping superstars come to life? Uh, I always look for the it factor. The it factor, uh, you don't have to talk about it's not social media it's when a person walks in a room they light up a room or you in, you walk into a room and you see oh she got that going on or he got that going on the it factor is always important uh, and then I would say you know you, how you deliver your rhymes and or how you deliver your your lyrics uh, if you're singing or how you carry yourself when you're performing all those things matter but how we find talent um, it's crazy you know still there's friends that introduce us to friends uh, but social media opened up a whole new source of A&R you know for us around the world you know six degrees of separation so where it might have took me a month to find somebody in Canada I can find them today you know uh, I can find them that's uh, so in, in Australia crazy. It's, it's it's really a, a blessing when I tell people really at the end of the day everybody's not meant to rap uh, some people should be a hobby. Everybody's not <laughs> meant to sing. You. Some people should sing in church. Uh, but more importantly, uh, I think what we're providing with the free, Hashtag Freestyle 50 Challenge is an opportunity for people to freestyle their way through life. You know, you freestyled your way to yes. being a personality. Yep. You know, I freestyled my way to being uh, in the industry. You know, the designer freestyled their way to designing. We were a culture that everybody said no to. Mm -hmm. you know, no, you can't have access. No, you can't do this. No, you. And we took those no's and turned into a whole culture. Yes. And we're celebrating, you know, now this year, you know, the biggest genre uh, in, in, mu in music business, uh, hip hop and R&B. How does that make you feel? Because listen, I know you're very humble, mm -hmm. and Kevin, you've always been good, but mm -hmm. you're part of that. You help that. Mm -hmm. You open the doors for all of us, right? Mm -hmm. When you hear that and Forbes is talking about it, are you like, we already knew? Uh, I'm saying uh, I'm living it still. Mm -hmm. So it's different when, when, when I get older, I'm going to look back and understand I was living history. Right now, I'm just living life. I'm living the blessings that God gave me. So it's not, it's like a, a different kind of thing. You know, sometimes we don't take enough time to realize yes. that every day when we wake up, we're putting a piece of history and giving history of ourselves, you know, to the world. And when I think about it, I started when I was 16 in hip hop, you know, it's 33 years to see what I have seen and to see the people come and go and to see what, what hip hop means now, you know, it gets me teary eyed. But I'm still living it because we're not done. Yeah. You know what I mean, that that's the the thing to me. I just wait give us another ten years, you know what I mean? Give us another twenty years. Uh, and you gotta realize people are coming into power that all they know is hip hop. Yes. They that all they know. That's so, it. you know, you got CMOs and CEOs and mayors and governors and presidents and city council. The thirty one year old young lady of Com mayor of Compton. Yeah. What you think she know? Yeah, right. <laughs> so hip -hop. What's up, Kendrick? You know? <laughs> right. Yeah, of course. Dr. Right. Dre and mm -hmm. Isn't this crazy? It's, a it's, a, it's, the, it's the best time to be part of our culture. I, I tell people, people, oh, the music business, the music, music will always be here. It is a soundtrack to our lives. You know, the consumption has changed, the bar barrier of entry is lower, and the model and monetization has changed, but music is still music. Art is still art. And I've always prided myself, you know, even with doing a contest like this, I just have to find the truth. 
I have to find something I want to put in the Smithsonian Institute, yeah. not just on a wow. corner hustle. You know what I'm saying? Having seen you all over the place, you're very behind the scenes. You like to put in that work. Did it make you kind of nervous to be part of this Freestyle 50 hosting? And it's a little bit more for you than usual. Uh, yeah, but, you, you know, like it's, it's the rapper in me. You yeah. Know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, you know I, I started as a DJ and a rapper when I was 16. So, you, you know, one of the things that I don't like is when God gives you a gift, mm-hmm. um, whether it's a gift to orate or a gift to create and you don't use it. Yes. And then you'll go and see a, a, a kid who might have a disability and he's trying to climb a mountain. Yeah. And you go see a girl who might not have uh, all her a leg and she's swimming a mile. You know, like those things, I, I want to use all God gifts. You know, I woke yeah. up, I got my hands, my heart, my eyes, my, my mouth, and you know, I have a personality that I think uh, I can communicate to people. So it's not, that's not really hard. The hard part is picking, you know, a winner yeah. Somebody that, you know, uploaded their video to Instagram or, or, or Twitter, somebody who took the time out to tell their truth and it wasn't enough. That's the mm-hmm. hard part for me that I, that I can't give everybody the opportunity. But it's also the greatness in what happened last year. And I just spent some time. We had a you know, same contestants. We had the, the finale in Atlanta and. This kid was there from Annapolis, Maryland. You know, I'm I'm from Baltimore, so I know people think I rigged it, but I didn't, guys. I had nothing <laughs> to do with it. I didn't even wasn't even a judge at all. So the kid traded kid one, and he told me his story. He said, "Mr. Lyles, I just have to tell you, when I started the contest, I lost one of my parents. Oh my God! I'm going through the contest, and then when I won the contest, <sighs> I lost my other parent. Oh my God! Then he says, then he says to me, but you know what? In loss." you sometimes found find success and a blessing. And I know that it, it was not it was not done and it was not, you know, God didn't take them away from me because they needed to be away from me. He just gave me the freedom to do me and now I have the opportunity to have a single with three hundred entertainment, to have ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars and to change my life. I said, listen, that's hip hop. <laughs> you can't get yes. a guy the guy struggled through all of it, showed up, yep. won the contest, yep. and now can talk to his family and his kids about that journey. You know, that that, that is, is hip hop. Truth be told, that's the journey, man. So shout out to my man Trader Kit. Does it ever get hard for you over the years when it's like, oh man, I I wish this person would have done X, Y, Z, or if you you care about people, right? Yeah. You're not just like, hey, it's another number. Let's see, all right. Yeah. But do you ever feel that pain of like, all right, maybe had I done more for this person, or do you feel like you've done everything you can to help everybody that's crossed your path? No, you never you never could do enough. You know, I lost. Uh, I mean, losing Chris Lighty was. Yeah. Um, I beg the question every day: Could I yeah. do enough? You know, losing my mentor. And Wes Johnson, who you know fought four bouts with with cancer, you know losing Big Cap, yeah, you know losing Reggie Reg, losing Lisa Coleman. I, I can go on and on losing Chris Kelly. You know I can go on and on oh of gosh, people yeah. that uh, uh who I, I was there and and you know you think about you know but I, I tell you losing Jam Master J, <sighs> you know you know losing Scott LaRock. I, I can you know to to the younger people you you got to understand when you live when you grow up with somebody and you live life with somebody it's not just about being successful, man. These are human beings. You know, people yeah. want to have real relationships. So to me, I just thank God every day that I'm here to to be able to, to do what I do and encourage people. Uh, I, I said this statement all the time. You think about, well, you know, Pac and, and, and Biggie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Could, did we do enough in that situation? You know what I mean? They lost their lives because of coasts that they don't own. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like, could we, could we have did enough um, there and so you know whether it's the hip hop action network or any of the boards that I sit on, I, I try to encourage enough. You know, some people are lost causes, and you can't yeah. save everybody. But if you live your life in the righteous way and yeah. you put forth an effort and an aura that you're, you're humble to be doing, to have the blessing to do what we do, um, I hopefully you'll be around long enough to encourage people to do the right thing. What inspires you to keep doing this? Because you, I mean. For real, like you don't have to. You've done it all. You've been around the greats. You've found a lot of greats. Like you don't. It's like all right, you could just be chilling, going to France or wherever, mm-hmm. and not have to keep up with this grind. What well, is? Well, I'm gonna go to France too, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I just, I, I just want to say, I don't know. I'm dreading the moment that I can't do it anymore because I, it's like a, playing football your whole life yeah. or basketball your whole life. What happens yeah. next? You know what I mean? And so. I just never want to have that feeling, and God forbid, it's not about my 
my legs or my arms, it's about my heart and my mind mm. that uh, I can hopefully do it for a very long time. They don't, you know, they don't ask Mick Jagger why. They don't right. ask Bruce Springsteen why. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't ask Ho why. Yeah. Don't ask Todd why. Don't ask Will why. Don't don't ask don't ask why. It's because we meant to be. Mm. And that to me, you know, part of us being here is the evolution. Yeah. of it too you know what i mean y'all heard hove he, hove didn't put out 444 he put out the book of hove yes the book of hove <laughs> I, it's it's a, that's how i feel about it you know what i mean i was gonna ask how do you feel 444 is uh, is it what you expected or is this hey this is classic jay this is this is why he's great jay has always been a great storyteller yeah uh from reasonable doubt to 444 mm -hmm. uh he's taking us on his journey. That's why he's around still, because he's not he's not trying to be nothing but who he is. Yep. So his vulnerability in this project, um, his his opportunity to not do what everybody else is doing, to do where he is in his life propels him into a space, you know, the greatest MC of all time. Has he always been this way? Oh from day one. Everybody know the story. Jay I tried to get Jay to come and be with Def Jam. He said, I'm Rockefeller. I said, all right, cool. I said, well, can we be with Rockefeller? You know? <laughs> it's it's a, it's a, just a story that, that goes, he's always been this way. He always bet on himself. There were crucial times uh, in our lives that, you know, we all have to make decisions, you know, and Jay always said, man, bet on yourself and do you. Yeah. And it was always his thing. So I'm, I'm proud of him and the family. I'm proud that he still cares about hip hop culture, but he also cares about the evolution of a man, yes. the evolution of a woman, the yes. evolution of children. And that's why I'd say this was the, the book of Hove. And, yeah. you know, I congratulate him. Whenever we always saw the old footage, you know what mm -hmm. I'm talking about, and we mm -hmm. saw the Def Jam jackets and seeing everybody getting yelled at by Dame, <laughs> did, did you ever take it personal or was it like, this is what it was. They're very proud to be Rockefeller. And mm -hmm. and for a lot of people who don't understand, like, you know, hip hop's competitive. Mm -hmm. It's like you almost can't take things personal. At any moment, did you take anything personal? I'm a, I'm a rabbi. I, I really don't, you know, I'm a, the mouth thing is corny to yeah. me. I don't, I don't really, that, that's, I have a job to do. I have a responsibility to every single artist. I have a yeah. responsibility to the tour. I have a responsibility to my 42 employees at that particular Damn. time. I had a responsibility to shareholders. We had just sold a company. What was more important um, to me is was to get to get the job done. Yeah. And like I say, I, I, Dame was one of those. He, 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 he could have been the president and CEO of, of Def Jam, Irv Gotti, one of those, could have been the president and yeah. CEO of Def Jam. There's a lot of guys that came up, um, and especially that that scenario, um, it was like playing for, you know, you had the Lakers, the, yeah. the, the San Antonio, and it was like, you had Rockefeller, Murder Inc., you had Def Jam Prop, you had Def Jam South, you had everybody selling seven, eight, nine million albums yeah. at a time, so you had, it was a friendly competition. You know, we were all family, but everybody Still wanted that number one spot. Everybody wanted that number one spot, so I just look at it like um, the necessary evils of being in a very competitive industry. Absolutely. Now, you're also working with Irv. Mm-hmm. Arab is a brother to me. Um, for fans, for us, we're excited. Yeah, it's it's. Listen, the series that he has on BET with Tales. Oh yeah, is another way. Arab did not grow up in. His, his mother and father didn't put a camera in his hand and said, you're going to direct movies. They didn't put turntables in front of him and say, you're going to be a, an, an amazing executive. You know, he freestyled his way through life. Uh, he produced in Tales. He did the same thing. He took a chance on himself. Uh, he, he owns it. And I said, man, hey, listen, you, you're telling people a story. With every story, it has to be a great soundtrack, and we should do it together. So it was kind of nostalgic, you know, for us, but we want to put the past as the past. Of course. And know that, that uh, we're focused on finding a new artist, focus on allowing Murder, Inc. continue to evolve. Now, social media technology has never scared you off at all. No. Like, I mean, you've worked with Twitter. Mm -hmm. I was actually reading about how you were trying to, or you did use their database. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for a lot of people who I guess have been intimidated, like what's the best advice for those who are intimidated to incorporate both worlds? We embrace it in a way. We, we love what Spotify's doing. We love what Tidal's doing. We love what Apple's doing. We love what Verizon's doing. We love what all these companies uh, are doing by embracing technology. And, and like I said, if you do not catch up, you know, you'll get mm. lost and get left behind. Is there anyone in your career that you wish you would have signed, worked with more? That you might have been like, damn, I passed up on them. I can't believe that. I still kick myself because of that. I mean, most of the stuff that we really wanted, we, we got. Yeah. You know, and even to the day, most of the stuff we really want, 
we get because I believe in the value proposition. If you really don't, if it's about money, I can't be with you because it, but it has to be about us and it has to be about, is there a value proposition that my company can give to you? And is there a value proposition that my comp that you can give to my company? And if that's there, we can work out everything. So I don't think it was an artist. Um, do I wish I could assign every big, um, artists in the world, the answer is yes, who wouldn't? But I think God gave me the right artists. God gave me friends that, till to this day, I, I call them friends. And when I sit and look at the great things that they're accomplishing, I knew that God put me in the right people's lives. Yes. And, and, and those people in my life. So I don't, I don't complain about stuff I didn't get. Everybody's going to try to get a hold of you right now. I just want you to know it's so inspiring. <laughs> this is why Freestyle 50 is important. Because, listen, I've heard so many different people trying to find artists, talent, whatever. But it's different when it's someone who cares about the people. I believe it's no excuses now. Like I said, the barrier of entry is so low that anybody can rap over no effort, put it up on YouTube and mm -hmm. actually, you know, Instagram and Twitter and you can hashtag Freestyle 50 Challenge, and you know we got great partners, and you know Samsung and SneakerCon, and I, I don't I don't believe that there's any kind of limitation right now to somebody living their dream, you know. But you can't wait on other people, and this is why it's a second year, and it's getting bigger and bigger. We had a party, or um, I forgot what night it was, but where you shut everything down that night. Yeah. Are we talking about you, that you, night? You can say it again if okay, you want. Okay, yeah, you know, you know the, how uh, that whole city was shut down? Yeah, yeah we heard about yeah, it. It's fine. That night and... and uh, <laughs> again, uh, without major promo, overly produced well, stuff. Was, uh, this we, is we authentic. Under, under, we under-promoted it because we kind of figured... But you don't think that, you know, that you're going to have a thousand people that come out at 6 o'clock to celebrate a Freestyle 50 launch. But I had staff that couldn't get in. I had artists that couldn't get in. I had DJ, the DJ. We know, we couldn't get in, <laughs> thanks, yes. We couldn't get in, but, but the, the, the reality of it was, it's telling you how much the creative community yeah. is starving for an opportunity to celebrate. And I wanna celebrate freestyling while I'm here. I don't want it to be celebrated when I'm not here. I, I want to be part of the process, and that what that's what that night was, and that's what the you know it was a lunch. We could have did a press conference and that's did the whole thing that. and you know, all that. No, I wanted to party and I wanted to, to celebrate life. So shout out to all of my partners, and shout out for Verizon for the second year uh, in a row, giving us an opportunity for hip hop, giving us an opportunity mm. to partner um, with 300 Entertainment, and for us to find that. I don't want to call it a lucky person, but to give somebody an opportunity yes. to tell their truth to the world. So thank you so much for, you know, taking the time to hang out with us. Thank you. So I, I, I want to say, you know, one thing in closing. Uh, I think it's important that we recognize each other. Yes. So for the camera, for all the airwaves, you know, yes. Nessa, I love you. I love I you, Kevin. I appreciate appreciate everything that you're doing. Um, you you have so much power every day that the people that are lost that become found by your yes. voice. Thank you. Um, so we're here to support you and anytime I'm here. Oh my God, I love you. Thank right. you so much. Bless you.